In today's video, we're going to look at how to create this blend effect where we're going to blend the text into the background to give it some really nice texture. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, have a look. Okay, so we have two images here today that we're going to use as the background. Let's go ahead and take the first one straight to the Fusion page. And we're going to bring in the text node connected to media in one as a foreground. And then now let's just go ahead and type in our text. And once that is done, we're also going to change the font uh, and also bring up the size a little bit so that it can take up a good part of the screen. So in order for our text to take on some of this background texture, we're going to use a masking node called bitmap, which you can find under the mask node group. So let's bring it in and we're going to connect media in one to the bitmap node. Now, if we go ahead and have a look at the bitmap node, we can see that there is really nothing happening right now. What we have to do is to change the channel from alpha, which we don't have in this image to something like luminance. And what this essentially is allowing us to do is to use the background node as a mask based on the luminance value that is present in the image. So let's go ahead and right now connect bitmap to the text node. And without making any changes at this point, we can already see that a lot of the background texture is already coming through the text. But at this point, there's definitely still a lot of work left to do. So let's come to the bitmap node and we are going to focus on the low high threshold bar, which sits right underneath the channel setting. Now, what this does is to allow us to adjust the threshold for what is considered black and white. Now, for kicks and giggles, we're going to start to bring down the high value towards the very end. Now, you're going to see that as we start to do this, a lot of points on the image are going to become white. Now, what this does is to not allow a lot of the background texture to come through the text. Now, on the other hand, if we start to bring up what is considered to be black, now most of these points on this image will turn black. And what this does is to pretty much only allow us to see the background. So now we've seen both extreme examples and the idea here is really to strike a balance between the two thresholds, find a sweet spot that's going to give us the optimal result. So let's start to experiment with the lows and highs. We're going to bring up the low threshold just a little bit and then start to bring down the high threshold towards lows. So now this is looking pretty good. We are letting a lot of the highlights and shadows of the background come through the text at the same time retaining a lot of the original color of the text. Now in addition, we can also play with the invert setting to see if it can help us enhance the look. And we can always come back to the original channel setting as well. So let's bring the lows and high bars back to its original values. And then we're going to come to channel and change to saturation instead of luminance. Now this, you guys can see, is going to give us a slightly different look. The areas that are more saturated are going to take on the higher values and the areas that are less saturated are going to take on the lower end of the spectrum. So now let's go ahead and see if this can give us some interesting result. We're going to start once again with the low and high threshold control. So let's do that. But in this case, this hasn't really given us the look that we want yet. So let's hit the invert setting. And this is now looking a lot better. So let's continue to adjust the lows and highs a little bit. And yeah, this is looking pretty good, guys. This is a slightly different look, but we're still letting a lot of the background texture to come through while at the same time maintaining a lot of the original components of the text. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the edit page and we're going to go to our second image here. So let's take our second image straight to the Fusion page and we're going to set up the text exactly like how we did before. Then let's also bring in the bitmap node and then uh, connect media in one to it and then connect bitmap to our text and change the channel from alpha to luminance. Now, if we do what we did earlier, which is to adjust the low and high threshold, you can see that we can still get a really decent result. A lot of this rough background texture as a result of the paint peeling off is really uh, enhancing the look of the text. But I also want to demonstrate another way to go about this. So let's go ahead and uh, have a look at how to do that. Okay, so let's bring the low and high threshold back to their original values and we're going to leave everything else the way it is in the bitmap node. Now let's bring in the brightness and contrast node and connect it in between media in one and bitmap. Now what this does is to allow us to alter the original color of the text, which 
is going to affect the blend effect through bitmap, which is now set to channel luminance. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, have a look at uh, how to do this. We're going to start by adjusting the contrast setting. So let's uh, start to bring that all the way up. This, as you guys can see, is already making a difference. Then we're going to start to adjust the lows and highs, very much like what we did earlier in the bitmap node. And guys, this is looking really good. I'm noticing a lot of the details of the background come through. They're looking very realistic as well, while at the same time, a lot of the original text color is intact. Okay, so let's start to bring our settings back to their original values. And we're going to see if we can approach this from a slightly different angle. So let's come back to the bitmap node and change channel from luminance to saturation. Now, leaving everything else the way it is now in the bitmap node, we're going to come back to the brightness and contrast node and adjust the settings here. So let's start by adjusting the contrast setting and bring that all the way up. This is definitely making a difference. We're also going to adjust the saturation setting. Now, this is definitely going to have a much bigger impact. And last but not least, let's also adjust the lows and highs. We're just going to, in this case, bring the low threshold up just a little bit there. And we can already see, guys, this is uh, looking pretty good. So yeah, guys, this is basically it. These are some different ways to create the blend effect. And I hope this helps. As always, I will see you next time.